And he just went straight up to him and just started checking him out, sniffing him. They instantly started playing and following each other around, just obsessed with each other. Over the course of the first day then, Teddy would just come up and snuggle up next to us. And she started grooming him. I thought, oh my God, I, I never imagined a cat come up and groom a puppy, especially a male cat. Since then, the relationship has just got stronger and stronger. The first couple of weeks, it was just a lot, a lot of cuddling and grooming back and forth. You'd always just find them cuddled up in the dog bed together, so cute. And as Albie got bigger, it was more like play fighting. Almost like Albie thinks he's a cat when he's with Teddy. They just play all day, they, they love it. Best mate brothers. <laughs> Albie can get a bit over the top and nibble his ears and bite his collar. And Teddy will just make a little noise and just sit there and put up with it. He'll chew Teddy's ears to death and Teddy wouldn't really do anything about it. He's like a one in a million cat. I never would have expected a cat to be as patient as him. He's like my little follower, comes with me everywhere, never far from my side. We've never really been apart. I take Albie to work with me every day. And then when we come home, the first thing Albie does when he gets in the house is Teddy's normally like sleeping in the same spot. He'll run in to see if Teddy's in his spot and just throw kisses at him and just cuddle. They're so happy to see each other. They're just always together. If you ever are looking for one of them, he'll be with the other one. We've got dog and cat beds throughout the house. I'll just go and look in every room and be like, oh, there they are, snuggled up in a bed together or playing somewhere. They're just, yeah, cute, isn't they? Yes. <laughs> it's like they were soulmates and they were meant to be sort of thing. Like, comment and subscribe.